I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Good morning, it is a beautiful day here. Uh, in sunny Tucson, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, boy, do you have any stress on you? Because I got a little on me right now. So we got a really cool sauce we're gonna review today, Snailmate uh, Stress Sauce. It's a collaboration between Snailmate and we're gonna talk about them, wicked cool in just a minute uh, and high desert sauce company before we do a couple things i want to talk about <coughs> excuse me first of all happy birthday mischief managed you're beautiful today i hope you have a spectacular birthday everybody if you could mischief managed is a really cool person she's an important part of the this bus and the lifeboat um so if you could say happy birthday in the chat because we would do it if it was your birthday so happy birthday mischief managed uh, I was working with yesterday, uh, with yesterday, I was working with Tom yesterday, and uh, I've talked about how everything in this state, it's like the Australia of America. Everything is poisonous. Um, every plant's got a sticker, a spine, a, you know, a, a needle, something wants to poke you. And I stepped on something. I got to change. I'm not, I got to. I'm going to talk to Carolina Boot Company. I love them, and I'm going to think I'm going to start using. I'm going to start wearing their hiking boot. They have a really cool uh, hiking boot that I like. So I, I was wearing these. Everybody knows I wear these, and right here, a pricker, a thorn that long went right through there and into my foot. I had to pull it out. So I got puncture wounds or a drag, they hurt. So my heel is hurting when I'm walking around now and <clears throat> it's just that kind of thing. I also have a real, I got, I got a challenge coming up. Uh, it, it won't be today, it may be tomorrow. Um, and this is some Linda's Fiery uh, Treats. This is a triple X hot. It's a Prima Tali peanut butter brownie. So we're gonna munch that this week. Uh, but we're going to get into the snail mate right now. This is really, really cool. <sighs> Let me tell you about snail mate. <clears throat> Excuse me. First, let's get into the ingredients of this sauce. Because uh, the ingredients are so cool. Listen to the ingredients of this. Distilled vinegar, pepper mash, which is water, Aleppo pepper, which is a spectacular pepper, chocolate habanero, which is... One of my favorite chocolate pods. It really is a delicious pepper. Um, listen to this. Cold brewed coffee which is water and ground coffee, because we need coffee, right? Uh, apple cider vinegar, dates, black garlic, and sea salt. Really cool ingredients, man. You know what I mean? That's a cool ingredient. Uh, let me read this, uh, the, this, the label to you, because this is cool. The heat rating, it's hot. It says it's hot. Are you stressed? Huh? It'd be weird if you weren't. And this is a message from Snailmate, by the way. They're a band. I'm going to talk about them in just a second. It'd be weird if you weren't. Did you know the body's reaction to spicy food is to release endorphins and dopamine? Those are happy brain chemicals. Think of the sauce as a deliciously painful bondage for your crappy life. It's made with cold brew coffee, Aleppo, and chocolate habanero pepper. Seriously, if you've ne uh, never tasted anything like this. Never have. Hi, there's a sauce company. Killed it with this sauce. We just slapped our stupid name on it, band name on it. Uh, we really hope you like it. Oh, yeah, we make music, too. Love Snailmate. Now, I want you to check out Snailmate, because I did. Now, Snailmate uh, is a Phoenix band. Um, uh, it's a two-person two band, all right? It's uh, Kaylin Lan uh, Lander and Bentley Mon Monet. Um, wicked cool, though. But, so I didn't know they were a band. I, I didn't. When I got the sauce, I didn't really dive into the label. So I did. So for about a half hour, I've been listening to music. The last one was the, was it the most boring? Hang on a sec. I can't remember the title track. Oh, what was it? I think it was the most boring man in the world or the most... Bottom line is, wicked cool sound. I'm not even fooling you. So the bottom line is that. You need to, two person band, anytime there's two people and they're making music, I'm all about it. But there's, there's chili heads and I dig their vibe a lot. So when this video is over, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna listen to some more snail bait. I really am, it's pretty cool. 
And I just dig the fact that it seems... Look, they wrote that. It's kind of like the forward on a book, you know what I mean? They wrote that on the label. They get that what... They get the endorphins and, and the, the beautiful feeling that can happen from eating spice. So there's a woodpecker. And that's a... Oh, there's two really cool wood... Oh, one. But I'm going to take a picture of this thing. This is a wicked cool woodpecker. Give me just a second. Oh, don't fly away, you rotten wood... Oh, there he is. Come on, woodpecker. Where's the other one? This is the coolest. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Yeah, you can kind of see it. He's at the top of the cactus, right? Uh, you can't. Rats. He's a black and white striped woodpecker. The stripes go this way on the bird. So the head's here and the body goes down. The stripes go horizontal. What a wicked cool woodpecker. Hey, woodpecker. Oh, he flew away. All right, we're done. We're back to the review. So anyway, they, they appear like they're chili heads. And I like the vibe. I like the music. Um, I like a good collab. I think, I, and they're in Phoenix. I think I need to get in touch with these people. Now, as far as the sauce is concerned, it has a wicked cool look to it. It, uh, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. You know what? The camera is so good. This is Robbie Robbie Vision. Look at that. That will do it justice. You see what I'm talking about? Really cool color in the sauce. Robbie Robbie Vision. All right. Very, very excited about reviewing this. All right, let's give this a aroma test. <sighs> Interesting. Here's the funny thing about black garlic. It has such a unique aroma. It, it's, it's garlic, but it's not garlic. Anybody who's ever had it, I mean, if you had it, if you've ever had it in a sauce, it's a unique ingredient. But if you've ever tasted just black garlic, it's the most savory, wonderful tasting thing. It's like, but it's almost completely different. It's almost not even garlic. And the aroma is very different. So the aroma is neat. I'm looking for the coffee and the aroma. I can't taste it. I'm really looking forward to tasting this. All right, here we go. Here's the poor people of. Snail mate, look at that. It's the stress sauce, people. I love the dark look of it. I really do. It's beautiful. All right, guys. So this is a collab from High Desert Sauce Company and the band Snail Mate. Please check them out. There'll be a link in the description box. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is JC. You know what? This really is a statement on how my morning's going. This is the first coffee I've had to, so far today. Beautiful flavor. There's a beautiful sweetness. I think the dates is playing a huge role in this. Actually, every ingredient plays a huge role in this, but the dates are really significant. Um, it is spicy. Um, now, Aleppo, here's the thing about Aleppo. Aleppo is not a hot pepper. But um, chocolate uh, habaneros are spicy. And uh, it is like the second ingredient in the, in the uh, sauce. Perfect balance of salt. Lovely sauce. Absolutely lovely. And they're right. It high, the higher levels of, uh, of capsaicin does beautiful things for you. Endorphins, feel-good chemicals. Uh, the endorphin dump. Are you kidding? It's one of the greatest feelings in the world. You know why? I, we don't talk about this enough. You know why the endorphin dump is such a beautiful thing? There's a reason. 
You know why? It's my take, actually. Um, most of the time, when you get an endorphin rush, it's not the best thing. I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. A lot of times, you get an endorphin rush, and it's not a good thing. <clears throat> and, and sometimes, like an endorphin rush can come from, you know, listen, we're all different. It takes very little. To, sometimes it takes less to create an endorphin dump in somebody than other people. But I mean, a lot of times it's a fight with somebody, either verbal or actual physical altercation can certainly is going to release endorphins. It's that flight or fight thing, you know. And, uh, you know, it really it's interesting. I like the endorphins. It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful f feeling, but most of the time, you know, like a car accident, you, know, you slam on your brakes, you almost get into a car accident. Your body releases these chemicals to remind you, hey, there's a heavy deal, heavy moment. It's a, it's a bookmark. It's like it's like folding the ear in your book to make sure that that was memorable. All right. So most of the time, a lot of times when you get a endorphin rush, it's not a beautiful thing. But with chilies, oh, why do you think I chase it like I do? I mean, it feels good. It's healthy. It's the only buzz I get. And I, and I don't do it. Here's the thing. It's like, I, I, you know, I've had people say, you traded one drug for another. If I was, I'd be doing getting endorphin dump from peppers or something hot every single day. And I don't. It's beautiful. It's a neat thing. I'm in a good place right now. And I hope you are. Uh, I got a lot of emails um, on the previous video. I wonder if I should do the top 10 or do some trivia. We'll see. Let me look at them and say. But one thing I want to talk about real quick, and I won't make this really long, but I, well, I recently did a video about sobriety. Um because it was my five-year anniversary, and I had a, a number of people, probably pretty close to 10, maybe eight, close to 10, people have emailed me and, and were emailing back and forth, and uh, two of them suggested I should, and I don't want to step on the toes of the lifeboat, you know what I mean? But they want me to start a segment where people that are struggling can kind of sit down and, and tune in, and we'll do a live stream or, or, uh, or you know, do a, a weekly video about that. If that's something you want, uh, here's the thing. I don't want to, this is a pepper channel. Of course, it's a cat channel. It's an, anything I'm into channel. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to turn this into a sobriety channel because it's not. You know, that's a lifeboat is a sobriety channel. This is a connection channel. It's about chilies and everything else. But if that's something you guys would like me to make a video about, and I'm not sure if I would do a, 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 maybe even a regular one, a regular segment. If it's something you guys want, please let me know and I'll do that. Um, but let's, let's do just a few pieces of crazy trivia. Um, do you know that in the United States, every single year, there are over 12,000 injuries per year from TVs that fall from whatever's holding them? Uh, to compare, there were only 57 unprovoked shark attack bikes worldwide in 2020. You got that? 57 attacks worldwide in 2020. TVs are trying to take you out, man. They really are. TVs are spooky. Um, huh. Um, all right, they tried to estimate the value of Scrooge McDuck, McDuck, his money pit, see what it's worth. Depending on your starting point, based on depth of, of how deep his money pit is, $52 billion. Uh, if it's based on ladder length, Two hundred thirty-nine billion, based on blueprints, twelve trillion, or based on three cubic acres, three hundred thirty-three trillion. I don't know why I read that. That was a dumb one. Um, this is a crazy one. This is one that pff, I don't know if I, I believe this. Twelve thousand two hundred people, Americans, Americans, not globally, in America alone, twelve thousand twelve hundred people are erroneously declared dead every year. Erroneously means you're you're not dead, and somebody's saying you are. That's a bad one. If you got, you know, your muffler doesn't need fixing, they say, hey, you need your muffler fixed. That's a bummer. But when they say, hey, you're dead and you're not. Uh, this is by the U.S. government, by the way. So the victims of, uh, of the error have to cope without minor things like driver's licenses, Social Security checks, bank accounts. Interesting. Nope, not reading that. Um... Interesting one. Do you believe in demons and ghosts? Do you? There he is. In there's the the man. There's the dove sitting in my in 
like literally on the inside rim of the fire, the chimney. 50%, that's the number of US adults who believe that demons definitely or probably exist. Definitely or probably, 50%. Uh, 46% though, believe in ghosts. And this is the last one, giant squid, it's a big animal. Their eyes are bigger than basketballs. Scientists believe they may have the, they have giant eyeballs to help them detect their giant predator, the sperm whale, while in the darkness of the underwater. Pretty sure that's accurate. All right, so uh, to recap today, we got a challenge coming up this week uh, from Linda's Fiery Treats, so be looking for that. Please check out uh, Snail, Snailmate. Really cool uh, two-piece band, put out some very, very cool music. I love original, I love unique, I love authentic and genuine, and they are all those things. Check out this sauce, Snailmate. It's a really great tasting sauce, and you're gonna like it. It's in the, oh, I didn't talk about the heat. If you're not a chili head, You'll hate this. If you're a chili head, this is gonna be a six. Six and above. There'll be people that'll call it a five. That's about six and above. Uh, let's make it a great day today. Mischief Manage, kill it today, will you? You're having a great day. Have a spectacular birthday. Everybody re remind you guys, say happy birthday to Mischief Manage in the chat. Tell somebody you love them today. I love you, Mischief, Mischief Manage. In the description box, you're gonna see Snail Mate. You're gonna see High Desert Sauce Company. Check them out right there. Is my son, Johnny Scoville Jr., the lifeboat right here. All of the challenges I've done since I started this silly journey. Right there, pepperology for all you new people. A lot of stuff in this video. Let me know what you think. I'm Johnny Scoville and this was Chase the Heat.